hello subscribers and viewers and welcome to Square Plays, the only Let's Play series on this channel. I'm Marcus Beard from Super Square, the channel you're watching, and we're taking a look today at Luftrausers, a German game, it's a Dutch game, made by Vlambeer, the same guys who bought you Ridiculous Fishing and Super Crate Box. Now, we would have thought you played one of them, either on PC or on mobile, and if you listened to the tea break a couple weeks ago, you'll know that Ridiculous Fishing, the mobile fishing simulator, was my mainline game for about six months. Uh, this is out on PC, it's also out on Vita. You may want to pick it up on Vita, as I shall show you later. Um, but it's it's basically a flight simulator, best way to describe it. So let's have a look at how it simulates flight. Bam! Uh, you saw at the bottom there are a bunch of challenges, and I'll get into that later. But this is Luftrausers. It's a 2D uh, fighting game. It's not a simulator, it's an arcade game. It's a mix of a score chase style jam. Uh, score chase slash bullet hell, kind of geometry wars style vibe in a uh, mix with kind of Dolphin Olympics gameplay, if anyone remembers that stellar Flash title. Uh, the goal here is to shoot down planes, unsurprisingly, but not just shoot down planes. Shoot down planes in a way that gets you the highest score possible. To do that, you've got to rack up a multiplier like you do in these games like Geometry Wars and such. And you get a multiplier by shooting down enemies, getting combos basically. And the higher combo you have, the more points you will score. Obviously, the best way to get combos is to destroy lots and lots of tiny enemies. And the best way to do that in this plane uh, of which there are lots of planes. The best way to do that in this plane is to uh, fly in one direction for a while, turn on them, and just shoot them like that. And then I have two multiplier, which is very bad. And it goes up to a maximum of 20. And the best players, the people who really kind of hit them leaderboards, and or at least your friends who are much better than you, will be will be ah, will have a uh, max score multiplier almost all the time. And obviously, you'll see it's a very very minimal. Vige style with only four colours, uh, which I like because, you know, really, really cuts back, cuts down to the gameplay. So, I'm attacking boats, which I shouldn't be. What I should be doing is flying around, shooting planes till I've got a max multiplier, and then take on these boats. With this gun, boats are notoriously hard to take down. And as I said, with this gun, you can unlock guns as you play the game more defeating challenges, which I'll show you now. Okay, let's dip into the hangar, where you can choose from lots of different planes. You can even uh, choose one randomly and just throw something together, which I'll maybe show you... Uh, I'll show you in a little bit. I'll customise it for now, uh, so I can show you how it reveals itself, because I don't want to spoil the most interesting guns, but I will be spoiling some of them. So if you want to come in with a fresh, with a fresh mind to this, uh, look away now, but don't, because I'm not really spoiling that much. Right, let's let's get in a plane which which they call the Gardener, but I'm not going to call that. I'm going to call it Spreads Mackenzie, uh, because the gun spreads. So you complete the challenges on the bottom, like uh, which showed at the bottom of the screen when you're in the hangar, like uh, shooting down a lot of like getting a certain multiplier or shooting a bunch of planes, or there are some more interesting ones where you've got to shoot down a certain number of fighters holding down the shoot key constantly. Now the reason that's a challenge for most people is because, I'll show you now, if I take a lot of damage, uh, let's say I, I take a lot of damage, I'm just too pro so I can't take damage, okay, let's say I take a lot of damage by flying into the sea, I won't heal unless I stop shooting this gun, which is why it's kind of a balancing act between going on the offensive and defensive. I say that, but the only, really the only way to play this game is going on the offensive, or offensive if you want to take the yank intonation. <laughs> yeah. So it gets very intense and it's really a kind of game which you have to concentrate on rather than just chat and meander around. But it's the kind of game where every single time you play it, when you're done with it, you feel like you need to dip back in because you've figured out how to get a higher score. 
as it very rarely feels unfair and punishing because it's so minimal in the way it's played and that makes it a lot of fun so there you go i got a nine times multiplier so now is when i try and take on boats and this gun makes it easier to attack boats because it spreads like that Ooh. yes there are other planes which are better for taking on boats, which I shall show you now. So you unlock, don't read these if you don't want to know about the, the you know, the end game, but I unlocked most of these after playing the game for about, I don't know, 60 minutes, not, not, not much longer than an hour. Uh, and yeah, there is some joy in sort of leveling up and unlocking things, but really, um, it's in honing your strategy because every every middle you know every body every engine and every gun that you have alters your play style in a you know in quite a fundamental way so those first two were relatively similar you know you're flying and you're shooting and you're trying not to hit things and you can dodge bullets this is kind of entirely different they call it nightmare i call it fishy bird not flappy bird or flappy fish but fishy bird because it looks like a bird, but it's also a fish. It's got a body which has no impact damage, so you can uh, you can run into planes and boats and not be damaged. And it's got a tail which has no damage when you go into the water. And also a gun that looks like this, a laser beam. So what it means is, my strategy, at least with this, maybe I'm doing it completely wrong, is to stay close to the water and run into vehicles while firing my gun. Uh, so, rack up them multis, pliers, that's my slang for multipliers, rack up them multis and then just ram into boats like some kind of swordfish with wings kind of nightmare. Uh, like this. Oh, nope. Awful. There you go. So, every, every time you unlock a new part, which will happen every 10 minutes or so, depending how pro skills you got, how much pro skills you have, it completely changes how you're gonna attack each mission. Didn't even come close to defeating that. Either way, no part, it's not so much the case where one part is better than the other or this is more powerful, apart from maybe the starting ones, which are worse uh, unilaterally. It just changes the way you do it. So here's one of the more interesting ones. Uh, interesting engines called the Gungeon. Okay, let's try a run with a plane that I call Uncle Phil, and they call the Scientist. Uh, I call Uncle Phil. Rest in peace, uh, Richard Avery. I don't think his name was Richard Avery. I'm gonna have to look that up and be really embarrassed. I feel like it was Avery. Who knows? Yeah. So you can see how you can get some uh, wacky, wacky, wacky contraptions uh, in Luftrausers, the official World War Two flight simulator uh, I've got a cannon that shoots out just a big old ball of explosion and creates kind of splinter yeah splinter explosions off it uh, but also it means that I can take a lot of damage with this big hefty body and I got bullets which shoot out of my butt you know every second or so just pooping pooping out some bombs in addition to the regular mode, there's also a hard mode, which I'm going to tackle with random planes. It's called SFMT mode, there it is. I don't quite know why. Uh, I'm sure they told me at some point, but I've forgotten. Right, so, so I've decided to tackle all of these with a random plane. And on a hard mode, it just means there are a lot more planes, and it means bosses come at you immediately. There's a blimp up there, I'm going to die without it killing a single damn thing. Ooh, there you go. It means you can rack up multipliers really quickly, but it also means you won't stay alive for long. And it's what's making me come back, because after you've kind of got the hang of everything, of all the normal mode and unlocked all the planes and think, ah, oh, I'm kind of done with this. I've got my strats, I've got my, got my strategies and approaches for every single plane. Hard mode is like, nah, nah, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't got nothing, man. Um, instantly on, on my, uh, ass as it were but that's the game thanks for watching uh, subscribers not viewers because i'm doubtful about whether non-fans would have stuck with me this long but if you have cheers 
Um, obviously this is the first Let's Play I have done ever. It's never usually been my thing, but if you liked it, let me know. Uh, I can always add stuff to these games like a face cam or uh, production values, like more stringent editing, keeping only in the funny stuff. But I think if we did that for this episode, we'd be left with pretty much nothing. Uh, cheers. I'm going to keep on playing this. I think you should too. Pick it up. Ah, oh, this plane is called Fist of God. Okay. I don't know what even plane that is still. Uh, it's a game which you can experiment with and I would urge you to. So I, I just thought I'd feature a game which maybe some of you haven't heard of. Um, so you can pick it up and send some money to the Netherlands. They've got enough, but you know, they got that sweet, sweet uh, uh, herb trade in, you know, cilantro and uh, basil. All them herbs. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see ya. I don't know. There's a tea break in a week. Perhaps I'll do a feature on VR. I'll do a hype tank. Why not? Catch you next time.